Hello everyone, let's start with a new video of Magento Multi Vendor Dropshipping. This module is very much beneficial for admin as well as for the sellers to facilitate the shipping and inventory. And it also increases the efficiency of the store and having the right products in stock for customers. Then uh, properly identify and available to ship quickly to customers. In this video, admin will manage all the warehouse by their own. So in this video, I will show you how you can easily create a warehouse and add or manage products in it. So to manage all these things, you have to log into your admin panel. So here you can see this is our admin panel. So at first I have to tell you in this module after in installing this module the seller will not be able to manage the orders of the products so you can go to custom system configuration you can see allow seller to manage orders order management for vendor account not allowed with dropshipping add-ons so seller cannot manage their orders with this dropshipping add-on so after installation admin can easily see a menu under marketplace management which is warehouse manager under warehouse manager there are three sub menus manage warehouse manage orders and manage products so we will click on manage warehouse so here is the list of warehouses which are added by the admin or you can say this is these are the existing warehouses so you can easily edit any existing warehouse by click on edit so here you can modify the warehouse code title description origin state origin city origin postal code origin state origin country longitude latitude email you can also modify the email of the warehouse contact name you can select the shipping method from here and after any modification you can save the warehouse from here so here is the success message warehouse detail successfully saved you can add a new warehouse from this add warehouse button by clicking on this button you can easily add a new warehouse so the warehouse code can be demo where one title will be demo where one Here you can write the description of your warehouse. And then the origin street. So here you can fill your address of the warehouse easily. Now the origin state Now you have to fill the longitude and latitude after that you have to fill the email of the warehouse After that, here you can write the contact name who will be available 
for the point of contact now you have to select the shipping method of this warehouse you can select one from the among or you can select various by selecting all you can select all or you can select some of this list from this list and now you can easily save the warehouse from this button so here you can see the success message and our demo where one is ready as a warehouse you can now assign seller's product to this warehouse by going to catalog manage products so you can open any products of the seller now under shipping you can easily select warehouse existing warehouse for the product and now you can easily save it by the save button so here you can see the success message the product has been saved by clicking on this product we can check whether our product is assigned to demo wear or not so here you can see our product is assigned to demo warehouse so that's how admin can easily add products to the warehouse or assign products to the warehouse admin can also add multiple products to a single warehouse at a time by going to warehouse manager warehouse products so here admin can easily add multiple products to a particular warehouse so now I will show you how admin can easily add products to this warehouse so at first we have to select the action add warehouse then warehouse we have to select the warehouse demo where one is our recently added warehouse now we have to select the products which we want to add to this warehouse you can select any product to add to this warehouse so now I will click on submit and you can see the product warehouse will be changed from New York warehouse to our demo wear one so here you can see that warehouse has been changed for selected products so that's how admin can easily add various products and here is the success message these product IDs are successfully assigned to a warehouse so that's all for the admin part now seller can also select warehouse for their products so at first we have to log into our sellers panel so here is our sales panel so in this we will go to new products I will show you how sellers can easily select warehouse for their products so here you have to select the category now you have to write the product name description SKU and all the details like stock, stock availability, visibility, weight and at last you can see a field warehouse which is a mandatory field so by clicking on warehouse there will be a drop down 
so you can easily select warehouse from here and add product to the store easily seller can also edit their existing products warehouse by going to my product list and by editing any product or existing product so here seller can change the warehouse for this product and seller can save it by the save button so I will go to our my account so now I will show you how to place an order and select the shipping according to that warehouse so I will purchase a product cart you can see I have added a product so in shopping cart you can select the shipping method according to the warehouse and by clicking on update you can easily see your uh, grand total now we will move to pro checkout page in checkout page your customer can easily fill all the details now the order will be reviewed by the customer now customer will place the order so that's how you uh, the customer can easily select shipping methods according to the warehouse so now I will show you how you can easily manage the warehouse by logging to the warehouse by entering your email ID and password. So here is our warehouse manager. Under system you can see all the account informations of this warehouse. You can set new password of this warehouse under marketplace warehouse manager you can see manage order you can view all the orders for this warehouse you can view orders from here here is the order status and details of the orders you can the next field is uh, shipping setting you can easily shipping rates table for table rate shipping from here sellers can upload CSV of table rate shipping or shipping rates from here so at first they have to download the sample CSV file So here you can see a sample CSV file. You can change the country code as per your need. You can write the re region ID. You can write zip code from. To zip code 2 you can write the price of the shipping for that particular zip code you can write the weight from and to for the CSV and I will save the CSV shipping info.csv is the name of this file 
now I will go to choose the file so here is our CSV file I will open it and I will save it by the save button so here you can see the message because that CSV file was already updated here and I have changed only one row so here is the message trying to add five duplicate rows not allowed and one row is successfully added from uploaded CSV so that's how warehouse, warehouse manager can easily upload CSV for shipping details now the warehouse products so warehouse manager can easily handle warehouse products from here so that's all for this module and this video i hope you have understood how to create and manage warehouse and how sellers can select warehouse for their products thank you for watching this video stay connected